Always wanted to learn how to create a check icon, but never knew exactly where to start. Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck, since in this video I'm going to walk you through the entire process from start to finish and show you how to do so using Adobe Illustrator. I'm Andrew, and you're watching an Envato Task Plus tutorial. As with every new project, we're going to start by setting up a new document by heading over to File, New, or by using the Ctrl N keyboard shortcut, which will bring up the following window. Here we'll want to make sure that our profile is set to web, and then we're going to define both the width and height of our artboard to 64 pixels. As soon as we hit OK, we can start working on our little icon by opening up the layers panel and then creating a secondary layer, naming them both so that we can separate our shapes from our reference grid. Position yourself onto the bottom layer and let's create the main shape for our reference surface using a 64 by 64 pixel square, which we'll call using a dark orange, making sure to center align it to the underlying artboard afterwards. Add the active drawing area using a smaller 56 by 56 pixel square, which we'll call using white, and then position to the center of the previous shape, making sure to select and group both of them together using the Ctrl G keyboard shortcut. While basic, this reference grid will give us an all-around 4 pixels protective padding which should prevent our icon from being clipped when used by other people. As soon as we finish setting up the grid, we can lock the current layer and then move on up to the second one where we'll start working on the actual icon. Grab the ellipse tool and let's create a background using a 56 by 56 pixel circle, which we'll call using green and then center align to the underlying artboard. Next, we need to create a set of custom guides which will help us figure out the proportion and angle of our check mark. To do this, grab the rectangle tool and create an 8x8 pixel square, followed by another larger one that has double the width and height. Once we have both shapes in place, quickly group them using the Ctrl G keyboard shortcut making sure to center align them to the underlying artboard afterwards. Since we can create guides from group shapes, we'll first have to separate them, which will then allow us to right click and use the make guides option that would otherwise be hidden. Once we've converted our shapes to guides, it would be a good idea to lock them so that we won't move them by accident. At this point, we can flip our fill color with a white stroke, and then open up the stroke panel and set its weight to 8 pixels and both its cap and corner to round join. All we have to do now is draw the little checkmark symbol starting from the top left corner of the smaller square, going down diagonally to where the two guys meet and then all the way up to the larger one's top right corner. Once we are done, we can hide the guides and then select and group all of the icons composing shapes together using the Ctrl G keyboard shortcut. If you need to create a version of the icon without the background, you can easily do so by first setting the color of the checkmark to green and then removing the larger circle. All you have to do then is open up the transform panel and uncheck the scale strokes and effects option so that you can double the size of the symbol while maintaining the same 4 pixels padding. That being said, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.